I've had a lot of people asking me about uh, hack the box and how to connect to VPN and not just how to connect, but how to troubleshoot or how do you know that you have a bad VPN connection and how do you go about fixing it? This is exactly what I want to do today in this video. I want to show you how you can easily connect to hack the box. And if you lose a connection or if you don't have a connection, what you can do to be able to fix that. So let's get right into it. All right, so I'm going to uh, just launch my hack the box and I'm right here and I'm going to pick one of the machines. Let's see one that I'm still working on. Um, okay, so I've pawned pretty much most of them in here, but you can see this one, Pika2, I was able to get the user, but not the system root flag. So let's do some connection to this machine as well as do some troubleshooting. So I have two terminals. Okay, so I have my terminal emulator here that comes with uh, Kali Linux, but I also have a terminator uh, terminal in here that I use quite a bit and you can see the difference I've uh, customized this one quite a bit and um, it just gives me a better view of what I'm doing. So what I typically do and, and this is cool because uh, you can actually set up your VPN uh, using the GUI for Kali Linux but I don't use this because the connections to the box uh, environment are, are, are very temporary. Right. So what I typically do is I do a quick and dirty connection to VPN and let me show you how do I do it. So I'm going to go into sudo su and I usually do it through this terminal. So I put it out of the way and stuff like that. So uh, bear with me. I'll go and do this really quickly and uh, I'll show you how you can do it, too. So I go into sudo su, enter my password like that and Right here, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to check out the open VPN version, right? So open VPN version like this. And you can see that I have it installed. If you don't have it installed, then it's easy to just uh, apt install open VPN like this and then get it on your system. You can also do which open VPN like that to see where your open VPN client is located. And it's usually on user as been OpenVPN, right? So the other thing that I want to show you is system CTL status OpenVPN like that. And you can see that it is loaded, but it's inactive. And this is using your system D, which is basically your, your setup for connections and services inside of Linux. But we won't use that, any of that stuff. We're making it very, very easy for you. So if I do a TLDR, so TLDR OpenVPN, you'll see all the information about OpenVPN and we're going to use this right here, sudo OpenVPN and then the path to the config file. That's all you have to do, right? So let's uh, let's get working on it. So I'm going to download the OpenVPN client from Hack the Box in here and you have several of them. So you have machines, starting point, end games, as well as Fortress and Seasonal. So you have to make sure you download the correct OpenVPN connection or configuration, right? So in this case, since I'm here at the on the machines, I'm going to download the OpenVPN and I'm going to use the UDP OpenVPN because it's much faster than the TCP. And uh, just uh, download this puppy like that. There you go. And what I typically do is I copy from the download folder and it's called lab. There's a couple that I have downloaded. So it, this is the last one. And I'm going to place it on my desktop HTB connections. There you go. And now if I go into connections, so desktop HTB connections, and I do an LS, you'll see that I have a whole bunch of different OpenVPN configurations. One thing that you have to make sure that you do is that if you change the username of your account, you're going to have a different OpenVPN connection. Make sure you use the last one. I always download the latest connection just to make sure that everything is working. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the machine. The thing that you have to remember is that you're not connecting to the actual machine. You're connecting your OpenVPN to the hack the box network. And then when you initialize the machine, you're creating that tunnel into the machine from the network. 
right? So it's not about the machine, it's always about the network. You have to make sure you're connected to the right network to be able to work with this machine. All right, so you can see that I'm actually connected to the box here. And what I do now is I just type in open VPN lab, get cyber, and I believe it was the one of these here. So this one, and I'm going to connect. All right, so you can see that I'm connected. And then what I do is I put this one away and I use my main Terminator terminal. So sudo su password and then CD desktop HTB Pika2 there. So I'm here in the Pika2 folder and I've been working on Pika2 for the last little while. I have the user pawn, but not the system. So now what I do, I, got, I want to make sure that I'm connected. The first thing I'm going to do is copy this IP address and then just do a ping like that. So paste it in here and you can see that it is not pingable. So I'm having problems. I'm not able to connect to this machine. So what do we do now? Well, I'm going to stop this and then go back to my terminal. Stop it by pressing Control C. I'm going to type in kill all open VPN. So make sure there's no connections. And then I'm going to start it up again like that and see if that works. There you go. I'm also going to refresh the page and then do another ping on that box. There you go. So now it's working. You can see that is uh, I'm actually able to ping it. And what you can do is just stay here for a couple of minutes. Make sure that mm, there is no timeouts that occur. So I can wait for a little bit and you can see that everything is working perfectly fine. And I'm going to do a couple more things. So the first one is I'm going to do a trace route to that machine like that. And you can see that it took almost no time. So not only I have a connection, but the connection is very fast which is what you want, right? So if you have a slowdown, you can see that mine is uh, 41 milliseconds, right? So it's pretty fast. But if you see that you have, you know, like a lot of time in your trace route, that means that even though you have a connection and you're able to ping the server, you might not have a really fast connection. So you want to make sure that you have a fast connections like I do in here. Now, the next thing is you need to get your IP address and there are many ways of doing it, but there's uh, one way that I always do it, which is hostname capital I. And you can see that this is my hack the box IP address. My first one is my local machine. The second one is always going to be the other interfaces. Now, if you do an IPA, you'll see that the main interface for hack the box is ton zero right, ton zero, and then you can see the IP address in there. You can also see the other IP addresses. This is your network, right? So ETH1 is always your network, and then you can see WLAN. I'm not connected to the Wi-Fi, so you can see that it's down, right? So quick and dirty way of checking out your IP address for Hack the Box is hostname minus I. Now, if for some reason your, your system gets disconnected, so I'm gonna disconnect this in here, so Control C to disconnect, and then you do a hostname minus I, you'll see that my connection to hack the box is gone, right? So and you'll see that you are having problems, right? So if I do a ping on this machine, it's going to start timing out again. So you have to go back into whatever terminal you're using and then start your connection again. Let's do hostname minus I. There it is. That's my IP address. And then if we do a ping again, it's going to start working again. Now, the next thing is sometimes what happens with hack the box is that you are connected, the connection is fast, but then there's no results. So if I do, for example, a fast end map F like that, no ping, uh, all of these ports are open, right? So this is a fast end map just to make sure that everything is working. There is no service discovery or OS discovery or any of that stuff. Very quick and dirty way that you can just uh, get a quick glance of what's going on inside of the server. But sometimes what happens is that these guys, they show as filtered, right? They show as filtered or they don't even show. And then it says one IP address and then one host up like that. So you're like, hmm, okay, so uh, the host is up, but no ports are open. What the heck is going on in here? That means that you have a bad connection. And usually that happens when you connect to other network. So for example, let me just kill this one. And if I do an LS, uh, you'll see that I have competitive in here and I also have release arena. So let's uh, let's do a release arena, right? So I'm going to open VPN, release arena. I'm gonna start this one up. 
right? So I'm connected to the arena for the seasonal boxes. And let's do a host name minus I. And there it is. This is my new IP address from Hack the Box. Now let's do a ping and it is pinging. Let's do a trace route. It is working very, very fast. And now let's do an M map. And look at the results. I see less results than before, right? The same end map, but I'm not seeing the resource that I need to, but port 80 is open. So let's take a look. All right. So click on the IP address, go into my browser, just paste it in there and nothing is happening. This happens because I am not connected to the right network. So what you need to do is just kill your open VPN, make sure that there are no other open VPNs running and just start your open VPN that corresponds to that machine. There you go, get cyber, and then there you go. Let's do another ping, it's working, and map. There you go, you see, <laughs> there are more ports that are open in here. So look at this, if I connect using my seasonal, my competitive, I only see three ports open, and I'm just doing nmap minus F minus PN, so no pinging, right? But if I do it the correct machine, I see one more open port in here, 8080, right? And if I hit this, Look at that. Now it appears. That's what you got to make sure you do connect with the right open VPN connection. It's very important. All right. And that's it for today. I'm going to just uh, kill this machine in here. And I hope you learned a little bit about Hack the Box and how to troubleshoot your connections and how to connect correctly to each of the machines. And I hope to see you next time. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and like the videos. That gives me the chance to be able to showcase what I do for the entire world. And I'll see you next time.